Hey guys, um, a lot of times I get the question, how do you find bubble dumps? You know, uh, a lot of people, er, usually, almost everyone I see on YouTube who bubble digs has someone asking them how you find bubble dumps. So, um, uh, you know, like not to sound cheesy or anything, but usually to start bubble digging, the bottles usually find you, you know, it's like, it doesn't really work out the other way around. Like, um, most people, like, it's a weird thing, so most people, like, don't know what it is until they actually find stuff. Um, like me and a few other people on YouTube. Like, uh, I started ball digging, you know, just, oh, these are cool antiques I found in the woods. Let me start digging, common sense. So, like, and, like, if you don't know how to find a ball dump, it's kind of dumb. Because they're in every single woods here. I'm just in this normal woods here. And, um... There's some new bottles around. Oh, whoa! Oh yeah, okay, well there's one right here. That's a, um... Father, yeah, Father John's Medicine Little Mass. Um, we're just walking around here. And literally, like, this is how every dump is. You'll see old, uh, rusty pots. And, um, I haven't dug here yet. There's an old piece to a milk bottle. There's some old pots and stuff. Um... You know, it's really pretty, like, easy to find a dump. You know, you just walk around in the woods. And you can do other research, you know, to find privies and things. But, um, this is pretty much it, you know. Uh, that's how I find my dumps. You just walk around in the woods. But this is a, uh, yeah, this place is pretty packed with stuff. Um, some stuff looks newer. Some looks older. Yeah. Hammerhead. Um, let me see. See, I saw some stuff over here. Like, a lot of this stuff is, uh, 70s trash. And, um, but you know, there's always older trash around. There's an old piece to a jug. Um, like, uh, yeah, there's just always stuff like this getting around. And uh looks like there's a bottle here. Oh wow. Oh, it's broken. Oh wow, that would have been cool. Vapo Chrysoline Co. New York. That's a great one. That's old, hand blown. Um just another piece. That's old. Old Federal. Um so you know it's just pretty easy. Ow. Thorns. Um, so I'm, I guess I'm gonna dig around here today. See if any of this stuff goes deep. And um, I'll get back to you. Alright, so over um, where I found this uh, broken Father John's medicine, I was kind of digging around a little bit and wasn't really finding anything. Then up on this hill here, I saw some bubbles sticking out. And I am pretty psyched. I think I uh, didn't touch them at all. And that looks like to be embossed. Hopefully they're fixed. Yeah, let's see. Oh wow, that's that's really cool. Screw cap, but that's that's awesome. And now let's pull this one. Oh my gosh, that's great. Looks to be uncracked. That's a great one. I'll clean that up when I get home. I think I found a new dump. Doesn't take much. Here. Um, that's just like a ketchup or something gross. Something else here. And this is a big Listerine bottle. Biggest one I've ever found. I'll take it. All right. All right, got some more poles in here. Oh wow, okay. See if it's embossed. Um, it's cracked. Um, unembossed. I'll take it though. Um, another thing in here. And it's just one of these common medicines. Alright. Alright, getting some things in the hole. Um, this is a uh, smaller Listerine. Found one of those before. Pretty common. Um, here's one. Another Listerine, and uh, 
what's this? Some sort of light fixture or something. Um, Got something in there. It's another Listerine. All right, nice. <laughs> All right. Other thing in here. Oh, that's cool. It's un unbossed, but uh, it's a uh, machine-made cork top with some cool designs. That's actually cool. Like that, I'll take it. Ugh. Oh, and I see something else in there. Oh, this one might be good. Oh, it's cracked. But oh, it's a uh, Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company bottle. All right, cool. All right, got a bottle here, and it's a uh, Waterman Zinc. Nice. Um. Oh. oh wow wait something just came out of that hole oh cool it's a nice green one I'll take it um embossed jar unembossed bottle something else back there Oh. And probably a new drill. Yeah, that's a new drill. Alright. Got a bottle here. Oh, wow, okay. Nice. Um, it's got writing. Um, clean that up when I get home and read it. That's nice. I just pulled out something awesome. Whoa. What the heck? That is sick! What the heck is that? I mean, like, this, like, something ornate and designed, and it's full. That is great. That's, that's definitely going home with me. Alright. Some full bubble right here. Listerine. And I, uh, just pulled out this nice brown one. And, uh, the else in here. I guess not. Alright guys, you know, a uh, pretty good day. Just found a new dump and uh, found some great stuff. Some things I accidentally left there. Um, I'll show you in the next video. And uh, a lot of things I left in my garage. But here are the things I took in and cleaned up. This Waterman's Ink bottle. Machine made. Uh, mint condition. Unlike the others that I found, I found in the past. Um, this... Uh, Nice little mini bottle. Little broken chicken salt shaker or pepper shaker. Made in Japan. Um, this cool green bottle. It's cracked. It says uh, D&M Co. It's cool. Um, this... I haven't even read this yet. Uh, Trade Click Quout Club. Click, quote, yeah, that's a little what it looks like it says, I don't know. Um, club trademark, um, registered. It's a nice color bottle. Must be a soda. Found this, um, Reen brand pure flavoring extracts manufactured by Reen Extract Co. Malden Mass. I'm not really familiar with that name, Malden. Malden, Matt, that town. Um. Screw tap, screw cap, probably 20s. And the bottle of the day is this. I haven't even read this. B and a B O and C C Wilson Botanic Druggist Boston. That's amazing. That one. It's a cork um cork top uh, blown. Great, pretty great condition. 
uh, nice aqua tint. Um, that's a great one. Just you know, that shows that that's that's undug that spot because uh, that was just on the surface there. And then this cool thing, that's awesome. Nice gold paint, got flowers on it. Um, now this is probably a tile to like an old uh, sink or something. I'm thinking th th since the uh, back's like this, so some rich person or fancy person must have had a nice house and then uh threw that way but or, or I don't know I don't know what it could be um but you know that's pretty cool that's that could be anywhere from 1890s to 1910 and uh we're all down um but yeah got <clears throat> yeah guys uh please like and subscribe I'll make another video soon thanks for watching and uh all right peace